Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. This is very simple. From a democratic standpoint, first of all, people need to stop assuming Trump is going to lose. He's the incumbent. He's going to have the advantage of being the incumbent. Republicans are going to, going to solidify uh, around him because they like power. What you're going to see. The question is going to be, are you going to have those same Democrats who voted for Obama continue voting for Trump? Are you going to have white women wake the hell up and realize, oh, my God, we <laughs> screwed up in 2016? Yeah. Are you going to have independents who, who are going towards him? But I got to say this here. These black people who are not blexic, who I see on Twitter and on YouTube and Facebook and Periscope saying some of the most dumbass stuff I've ever heard in my life uh, by saying, well, I'm fine for another four years of Trump. They have no idea <laughs> what he is doing to the federal bench. They have no idea that when you talk about filing a lawsuit and based upon who that judge is, you're not going to have a shot. If you're pissed off at our lead story, Stephon Clark, as well as Terrence Crutcher, guess what? It's a Trump Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. And so yep. I'm just, so again, all these folks who are saying that, they don't know a damn thing about politics because the nation is not, it's not just based upon, oh, why well, is him, it's no big deal. No, it's every agency, every department, and then that money that yep. goes, then what happens to the states and the rules and the procedures uh, and all those different things that has an impact on who is sitting in the Oval Office. It's, it's $4 trillion every single year spent. Um, you know, determined, you know, figured out how it's going to be distributed. It is the federal bench. It's, hey, you know, you know, okay, you have a Department of Justice that will file civil rights charges. Okay, what is that, you know, that judge or that appellate court or even the Supreme Court? going to do um, and how they're going to roll. You know, what most people have to understand is that most cases get, you know, dealt with at the federal or appellate level. Um, and so federal, the federal judges that are appointed, federal judges that are, are confirmed by the Senate absolutely matters. Um, it's, hey, you know, how's the president going to use his, his executive authority? Um, it's how the president's, you know, it, the, the, the vastness of the executive branch of the federal government is huge. Yep. It's monstrous. And people yeah. that think that, you know, Trump, another four years that Trump is okay, you know, they're, they're just oblivious to what's going on. Let me go ahead and I'm going to end it this way and um, to ZARP on YouTube. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. The lecture. I'm, I'm not fine with another four years of Trump but we can walk and chew gum at the same time. No, it's not a damn lecture. It's called some stuff you don't even understand. I mean, I see the comments. I see the idiotic comments from people who literally say, ah, if I don't get reparations, I'm fine with Trump. Okay, here's my question. Is Trump gonna sign that bill? <laughs> I'll wait. See, if you say, this one thing I don't get, if it's woman of education, then what if you don't get it? No, it's understanding that not one issue, multiple issues, not just even one job. It's not even just the appointing of the federal judges. You gotta understand, Republicans are railroading folks through. Mm -hmm. It is literally a track meet because I need y'all to understand this. And when I play these clips from Selma, y'all gonna understand this. Do you understand that after Brown... See, let me just go ahead for all y'all out of here, here we go. who don't know history. <laughs> see, I wasn't really trying to go here. I was really trying to go to this break uh, so I could read this ad. But I need y'all to understand something. There were two Brown versus Board of Education rulings. Brown 1 was 1954. Brown 2 was 1955. What you also don't understand that it was the federal courts that was the lower courts that was left to figure out Brown versus Board of Education. These are facts. Do you understand that law was created as a result of Brown versus Board of Education? Injunctions did not exist 
That was a creation of the federal bench because you had folks in those southern states who were, they would have a ruling in a court in the morning and some legislatures would pass a new law in the afternoon. And they would go back to court the next morning to get an injunction against that law. It happened in Louisiana, in Mississippi, in Virginia, in South Carolina, happened all those places. And what I'm trying to lay out to you is it was the federal bench, the federal judges who were making those rulings, who were saying, Mississippi, you can't do this. Alabama, you can't do this. Uh, Georgia, you can't do this. And so for all y'all sitting here who are saying, ah, it's no big deal, they are putting people on the federal bench. They put on one woman who is 35 years Jesus. old. Mm -hmm. 11 years out of law school. They are putting people, one dude had never in his life, I need y'all to hear me, Donald Trump, aided by Senator Mitch McConnell, put a dude on a federal bench who had never in his life filed a legal motion. <laughs> I ain't a lawyer. I ain't never filed a legal motion. I've got as much experience as that fool. <laughs> and some of y'all are saying, yeah, okay, that's fine. No. Do the math. We're 24 years away. I told y'all, we're 24 years away from America being a nation that is majority people of color, 2043. That judge who is 35, do y'all know how old she going to be in 2043? 59. Mm. Most federal judges serve today in their 70s and 80s. So let me do the math for y'all. If that one woman who's 35, if she's going to be 59 by 2043, let's say she stays on a bench until she is 80, which is, look at Ruth Bader Ginsburg, okay? Look at Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Numbers don't lie. That means that this one woman will be a federal judge until the year 2064. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. That means that when America becomes a nation, majority of people of color, she will serve, if she serves till she 80, she might live longer. She will be serving another generation, another 21 years. And some of y'all are fine with that? Now, I know some people out there going, Rolly, you saying vote Democratic. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm saying don't vote for his ass. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm saying don't sit the hell at home, and let him get reelected. I want y'all to go listen to Reverend Jackson's 1984 speech at the Democratic National Convention. I want y'all to go listen to Reverend Jackson's speech, 1988 Democratic National Convention, and listen to him talk about leadership. Listen to him talk about moral authority. Listen to him talk about character and why that matters. Listen to him say he would rather have FDR in a wheelchair than Reagan on a horse. What you have right now literally are grifters in the White House. Got that right. Mm -hmm. Individuals who have no problem taking whatever. This is the Trump administration right here. Zoom out. Zoom out. This is the Trump administration. Should I grab this? <laughs> I grab this. <laughs> I grab this. Mm -hmm. Here, why don't you take this? That's what you got going on right now. That's true. And we got folks who are sitting here saying, I'm not going to vote. It don't matter. You lost your damn mind. Now, it's 2019. The election's not until 2020. But I'm telling you right now, black folks better wake the hell up and realize that this attack ain't on illegal immigrants. It's not about undocumented workers. What you have going on right in here is an attack on people of color. 
and he is pressing the buttons. He is aided by Fox News. He is aided by conservative talk radio because there is fear of black and brown people. Mm -hmm. There is fear of the takeover of America. And they want to hold on to this power as long as they can. So some of y'all can sit here and attack other black folks and attack people who say, uh, I'm not going to support this man. But I'm telling you something right now. You will rue the day if you got to deal with another four years of this madman sitting in the Oval Office. I'm just saying, don't be stuck on stupid and don't sit here and act like what's happening does not matter because you, because trust me, the right, they know the importance of those federal judges. Oh, good Lord, yes. Why do you think they fight so hard to get them? Why do you think they held open that seat that Merrick Garland was supposed to have? Why do you, and also Obama should have appointed a black woman. Why do you think that they are ignoring the blue slips? Why do you think that they weren't so concerned about losing the House, but they damn sure didn't want to lose the Senate because they know the courts in America Decide law. Last one for you. A civil rights law was passed in 1875. Eight years later, the United States Supreme Court in 1883 overruled that Civil Rights Act, and they said civil rights is really up to the states, and the 1883 Supreme Court forbid Congress from banning segregation. The United States Supreme Court is the highest court in the land. Don't think for a second Republicans don't want to use it as a weapon to take their views and their values and make it law in America, not for the next four years, not for the next 10 years, but literally for the next 100 years. Don't get it twisted. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders. Enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win $25,000 for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant up to $25,000 to implement their proposal. Now, the deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. That means y'all got 24 days to apply. Go to fgb.life fgb.life for more information and to apply. Remember, Ford goes further in our community. And we certainly thank Ford Cares for being a partner here with us at Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.